Hi everyone, welcome to today's video of SpaceX updates. SpaceX completed a triple header mission in just under 34 hours. On Friday, December 15, the first of the three back-to-back -back missions was launched from SLC-4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California at 3.46 a.m. Pacific Time. On board the Falcon 9 rocket was NASA's surface water and ocean topography satellite. Engine ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of SWAT, our first global survey of Earth's surface water. The first stage booster supporting the mission was on its sixth flight and landed for the sixth time at landing zone four at Vandenberg Space Force Base. View. There it is. Landing. Wow, the sonic booms. And booms. then the sonic booms. Trademark sonic booms. Wow. And good touchdown of the stage one. Touchdown. Booster. Perfect. Stage oh. one landing is confirmed. The mission was a 100% success after deploying the satellite to low Earth orbit. After 11 hours, another Falcon 9 mission was launched from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida at 5.48 p.m. Eastern Time. Engines full power and liftoff of SES power. Go Falcon 9, go SES. SES A3BM power satellite made its way to medium Earth orbit atop a Falcon 9 rocket which was on its eighth flight. It was the second successful launch and landing of a Falcon 9 rocket on the same day. And after 23 hours, the final of the three missions was launched from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Station in Florida at 4.32 p.m. Eastern Time. Three, two, one, engine full power, and liftoff of 4.37, go Falcon, go Starlink. A record breaker now a Falcon fleet leader, Booster B-1058 launched another batch of 54 Falcon Starlink Space satellites Ridge. to low Earth orbit. The first stage booster has now flown on 15 different missions and landed for a record 15th time. The first mission it launched was the Demo-2 mission back in May 2020. It's just mind-blowing that SpaceX is doing this as routine work when several other rocket companies can't still make it to orbit. Back at the Starbase, crews are slowly finishing up the installation of shielding on the orbital launch mount legs. We have road closure schedules posted throughout next week from Monday to Thursday. This could be for testing on Booster 9, or are we going to see another static fire of S-24? We will find out later today. And before we end, I wanted to tell you guys that Rocket Lab is all set to launch its first mission from U.S. soil later today. The Electron rocket is, go for launch from Launch Complex 2 in Virginia. The mission named, Virginia is for launch lovers will launch Hawkeye 360's Cluster 6 satellites into orbit. Good luck Rocket Lab on your first mission from the Northern Hemisphere. That is it for this video, thank you for watching, see you next time with more updates.